Your new album, Heartbreak Weather, is out. So how do you think heartbreak feels different? I wouldn't like to be going through a breakup right now, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I know, it'd be, it'd be very, very hard, or it would be easy because out of sight, out of mind too, maybe? <laughs> yeah, maybe, that? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us. First of all, where are you joining us from? I'm in my living room in London. This is where right. the magic happens. Oh. <laughs> How have you been doing in these uh, quarantine times? I've been doing completely fine. Um, yeah, I've uh, obviously I would have preferred to be on tour. I would have been playing Toronto last mm -hmm. week, which was a bit, I think. I yeah, I would have been playing. My, I would have played my last show of my North American leg with Lewis last night. Um, wow. Which, which is a major shame. But uh, listen, these things happen, and I'm back at home. I'm working out. I'm cooking. I'm writing songs. I can't complain. Uh, as I've said, uh, I heard was it? I think it was Ricky Gervais saying it last week when people were asking him, you know, how uh, how he was doing in, in quarantine. He was like, "Listen, I'm not a nurse working a 14-hour shift, so I'm doing fine." Mm. And I would tend to agree. Your new album, Heartbreak Weather, is out, and you know it's obviously a different way to be releasing music. You know, this is a very uh, surreal time. So, how do you think? heartbreak feels different during an unprecedented time in the world? I mean, it's definitely harder to meet up with someone if you're breaking up with them. <laughs> um, yeah. Fair. I, mean, I, re I released the album just as this all started. I did um, a week on The Late Late Show with my friend James Corden, mm -hmm. and then it was literally on the day of that last show I flew back to London because the place was about to go into lockdown. Yeah, just kind of not the best timing of things ever, but... Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's all good. I mean, there's there's bigger things to be worrying about than my music. Um, I guess how it's different, I don't really know because I'm not going through it, but I wouldn't <laughs> like to be going through a breakup right now, I'll tell you that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know, it'd be, it'd be very, very hard, or it would be easy because out of sight, out of mind too, maybe? <laughs> yeah, maybe, that. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see each other, so it, 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 it kind of helps, right? Exactly, it's a, a very, like, it's nearly a selfish way of looking at it, but you've gotten away with it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, of big news, uh, Zane's big news. Do you have yeah. a message for the daddy-to-be? Ah, oh, congratulations to them both, yeah. Very happy, yeah. He's, uh, he'll do a good job. He's always good with kids and stuff. And, and Gigi's a lovely girl, so I think, I think they'll be mm -hmm. fine. They'll be great. Uh, any yeah. special skills that you've been working on or anything that you rediscovered about yourself? Um, yeah, well, I, I, I kind of been writing a lot more than I usually would be able to. I have been cooking a lot more for myself. Cooking? What's your, what's your go-to dish? Two days ago, I made, like, vegan falafel burgers. They were nice, which I'd never Ooh, done. I I'd never that. really made, like, a, a vegan meal. Been, I bought a slow cooker, so I've been doing, like, a lot of stews oh. and... Like um, bolognese, like Italian food, basically. You like cook it over the course of the day. I'm feeling there could be a, a recipe book in the works there. Those, all those meals sounded oh. delicious. Oh yeah, yeah, it's coming big time. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be publishers <laughs> knocking down doors. <laughs>